Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and today I had some people telling me to go look into a Reddit post about how the new AMD preview drivers were improving Alan Wake 2 ray tracing performance by up to 35%. The benchmarks were posted in a German website called PC Games Hardware with several AMD cards. And from what I understood they tested things in the game's beginning, the Nightingale mission, so it was in the forest area with ray tracing enabled with the standard denoisers, so basically not using ray reconstruction I suppose, and of course using upscaling technologies in quality mode with FSR or the LSS depending if you have an AMD or Nvidia card of course. They are claiming for example that their RX 7900XTX got 43.2 FPS with the 23.12.1 drivers and 58.3 FPS with the new preview ones. Now, they did their own tests, but since I thought that the performance increase was way too much, I did my own. Like you can get your own serial keys with our sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. And so, benchmarks. First of all, we have three resolutions tested without any kind of ray tracing. So as you can see, the performance increase was not only there, but also in terms of rasterization. Here we have with the RX 7900 XTX an average FPS increase of 11% at 1080p, 11% at 1440p also, and 7% at 4K. And when using ray tracing preset to low, the game enables indirect lighting and low transparency settings. At 1080p we have a 10% increase with the, with the new drivers without FSR and a 14% increase with it. Meaning that we got a 33% performance increase by using FSR with the new drivers versus the 28% performance increase with the 23.12.1, which is actually nice. At 1440p the performance increases are there as well, as expected of course, and they are most noticeable when using FSR, going from a 50% performance increase with the older drivers when using FSR to 57% increase with the new preview drivers. Pushing things to the next level, we're now using the high rate racing preset that pushes path racing to the maximum settings. And in here, I did not find anything close to 15% increase, let alone 35. But still, I mean, it is there indeed, with the new drivers performing considerably faster in this game, something that does not change at 1440p, where we actually have a bigger performance uplift compared to 1080p, with the newer drivers being 13% faster than the older ones when using FSR and path tracing, making the RX 7900 XTX able to deliver over 60 average FPS with path tracing in this scene, of course, New York, as long as we're using FSR quality mode. And with all these performance numbers being shown, I thought to myself, well, maybe I should test another game and see if the ray tracing or path tracing improvements are only for Alan Wake 2 or if they are also for other games. And so we start with Cyberpunk 2077 with ray tracing settings all activated and ray tracing lighting set to medium. And as you can see in this game we have absolutely zero gains from the previous drivers to these ones, which I was already expecting by the way. Something that still applies at 1440p where all the results are virtually the same with no performance differences even with FSR enabled. A bummer. <laughs> And with path tracing it is exactly the same with all results being within the margin of error at 1080p, with FSR quality at 1080p delivering around 60 average FPS, but once again, it is the best AMD GPU we can buy at this moment and it only delivers around 60 FPS at 1080p with FSR. Quite bad in this game indeed. And it gets even worse at 1440p, where even using FSR, the RX 7900 XTX can only deliver around 40 FPS, which is a disappointing result. Result that got no change with the most recent drivers, unlike Alan Wake 2. Interesting to note how Alan Wake 2 is a newer game, but its ray tracing and path tracing implementation runs better on the MD cards than the one in Cyberpunk 2077. Maybe because it is a closed world game? Maybe. 
So overall, I believe that their benchmarks might be, well, flawed to some extent. At least, or, or maybe I'm not really understanding them, maybe. Because the 1440p results that they have on their website for the Nightingale mission once again are 54.1 average FPS at maximum settings. But when I went and tested a bit on that early part, which is outdoors, which are usually the heavier parts, I was hovering around 90 FPS and I even loaded another part playing with Saga, more on the forest side as well, once again the, he the heavier parts, and the lowest I went in terms of FPS was 75, usually going over 80 in normal parts, so that's quite a bit more than they state here with only 54.1. Which for me seems a bit sketchy, but once again, I wasn't there and I'm not here to judge. That's exactly why I made my own benchmarks, to be sure of what the results would be in different scenarios. And while I did not get a 35% performance increase, well, I managed to get up to 15% increase, which is amazing just from driver upgrades. So, uh, updates, I mean. So, we had the driver update and the performance increased up to 15% in terms of rate racing, rasterization and so on. So, it's a very, very nice result if you ask me. And well guys, that's all for today's video, thank you very much for watching, don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this, about these results, about the performance that we got, the performance increase, if you noticed any more increases in some other games, and well, this is all to say that just don't believe everything you see on the internet, uh, because sometimes the results are correct, sometimes they aren't, so I'm not saying that they made this to get more views or not, but the performance uplift is definitely there. It is not up to 35% for me, once again, in those parts that I tested, but 15% is still a very good performance uplift, once again, just from driver updates. I really hope to see more of this in terms of ray tracing and rasterization as well. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you really enjoyed it. Leave your comment in the comment section and... See you in the next one, guys. Really, see you in the next one, which will be the RX 7800 XT versus RX 7900 GRE versus the RTX 4070. And I will also test the RTX 4070 Super as soon as I lay my hands on one, because once again, I do not have brands sending me cards. MSI takes ages to answer. As Rock, uh, well, they sent me a card before, but they didn't send any any more. So they sent the RX 6750 XT, but now they are not sending more cards. I hope they, they do send more cards. For example, the RX 7600 XT. I hope that they send that one. AMD sends cards, but then I had to, I have to send them back, and then I have to retest things again and I have to ask them once again and we all lose time in between that and I really wanted them to to give me some cards to stay it's not for my profit because I don't really want them to sell or something I just want to have them at hand when I have to retest things that's all I want so yeah thank you once again and sorry for the long ass conclusion and see you in the next video guys